Hi folks, it's Kieran here. Today's video, I'm going to throw some frontside flips around on flat ground. Um, you'll have seen by this point two videos of me trying them on the bank with, uh, in my opinion, like limited success. I did land like one not very rotated one. Um, but I want to throw some around on flat ground, see if I can work like work some of the kinks out on this trick, see how close we can get. Um, it's already super, super dark. Luckily, the lights down here in the car park are pretty good. Um, I'm going to skate on the like brickwork here just because it's much brighter in that section. It's easier to see on the camera. Um, definitely need to invest in a few little like portable lights because this car park is actually pretty well lit. If I had a couple more like lights, I could definitely skate on the smoother um, tarmac and stuff. So definitely need to do that in the future. But yeah, that's enough like chit chat about lights and smoothness of ground. Let's um. Let's throw some front side flips around and just yeah, see if we can make something happen. As much as the brick is like way better lit, super play in my head. It's like proper stopping my momentum rolling way quicker than I need to. So I'm just gonna move on to the top. Um, I think the issue I'm having with this trick is I'm not getting enough work out of my back foot. Like the front foot, foot is doing enough in terms of getting it flipped around, so but this back foot isn't giving me enough scoop. If I can find a way to get a little bit more scoop out of this foot so that it's not all on like a big flick and rotate, I should be able to keep the whole thing much closer and in line with my body, give myself a chance to land it. So, yeah, I can keep working on that. last half a dozen or so tries. Just try shifting my front foot around a little. Normally when I do a kick flip I have my front foot all the way up here in this pocket and I'll flick out forward. I've just tried shifting it like slightly closer to the middle here because when I've got it out of here, when I get a good flick, I just tend to like flick it away from me. Obviously like I can't jump out that far and catch it. Whereas when it's here, the board tends to stay around me more, but obviously requires so much more out of the flick foot to get like a full rotation from the kick foot part at least I'm still just not getting that I think I need to really work on something with this back foot see if I can get this back foot in a slightly different position where it will just help scoop it around a little bit earlier this trick is so so hard like on a bank it feels completely doable um, as soon as you take it flat ground it just it, honestly it just evades me you know? I just feel like I'm just grasping thin air, trying to find something to make it work. Let's crack on, get a few more tries in before it goes completely dead. That is what we're chasing. Like, it may just been because I planted my back foot really early, but that time, the board flipped out. It was a little away from me, but I managed to get my front foot over it on the front box. Now, if I just get a little closer, I should be able to jump to meet that. You know, just knowing that if I throw myself that way a little bit, I'll catch it. It's not completely ideal, but like, I've got a bunch of tricks that I do like that. And when you're learning tricks, quite often like shove it. And, Barrel flips quite often do that, where you like, jump into meet and, um, and then over time you can kind of like keep working on your form until it stays and rotates underneath it. But 
I felt like a little bit of progress if we can get that. If we can work out how we did it. stop there it's getting a little too dark for me and uh, I'm just I feel like I'm not gonna make it that much more progress on it tonight I want to come back out when it's uh, a bit lighter and I can really see what I'm doing um, did feel like we made a little bit of progress with this trick like we, we got a couple where the board rotated and kept within like catchable range and that's still what I'm chasing like I just feel like I just need to work out I really think it's in that back foot I think I need to just get a little bit more ump at that back foot Moving my front foot across a little bit in the middle there definitely helped keep the board around me more when it's slowing the flip down. Um, and I think that's possibly where like that back foot, giving it a little flick and nudge so I don't need as much of a flick, will help out. You know, this trick is, considering it's made up of a front side 180, which is most people's first 180 trick and is like a pretty simple trick once you've knocked it in, and a kick flip, which is again is most people's first flip trick. You'd think combining the two wouldn't be that hard, and yet this trick is so so difficult. You can, like, once you start playing around with it, you can see why it's held in like such high regards within like the skate community. Like, you think about like Andrew Reynolds, Tom Penny, those guys. As soon as you like say their names, you're thinking about these, um, those amazing front side flips those guys have got there. Huge, big floaty. It's such a good looking trick, and uh, that's what I want. There's like, I really want to get it where it's like. I mean, I don't like. I don't think I'm going to get it quite like Tom Penny and Andrew Reynolds, but I do want it where it's like fully rotated and caught and down. Um, and I think we can do it. We're getting there. With it. It's just so difficult. So so difficult. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. That's enough for this video. Um, I definitely need to get some little portable lights. As soon as we get that, we light this place up quite good and get some good flat ground sessions, work and some drinks. So yeah, we'll hopefully get that done in time for the next video. Huge thank you for watching, as always, folks. If you can do this trick or have got any ideas just from watching it that you think might help me land it, whether you can do it or not, I don't care. If you're just looking at it and thinking, oh, if he tries this, leave it down in the comments below. I really, really could do with some support, help with the community for this, um, both on flat ground and on the bank. It's just such an odd trick. Um, I think it's much more likely to go down the bank first, but this practice in the flat ground can definitely help. So yeah, definitely drop it in the comments below. If you've got any ideas or thoughts, just hit me up so I can work this trick out leave a like on the video for me as well it hugely helps out with the channel and stuff and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new that's all i've got i'll see you guys on the next video take care